Uh, Nick wants to know who your best man was at the wedding. Well, I had five best men. No, you didn't. That's yeah, yeah. He had his stepbrother. Oh, my stepbrother, my friend Morgan was my best friend. No, Morgan God. was just a groomsman. He has so, people that like him. That All stepbrother? right, so oh, we got to wrap up. What, rel- what is the relevance of that question? Wanted- I don't think That's you have any problem. guy friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, be nice. <laughs> All right, so how long do you guys have? Um, not long. I don't know. We can go as long as you need. Okay, two very different answers. Love it. (laughs) We didn't watch the episode, like, right away because we were busy with our kids at the pool and we weren't going to watch it. But then people were like, it's not as bad. You guys could watch it. So we decided. Uh Who told you that? (laughs) Yeah, they were super, super fucking wrong. (laughs) Joining us from Parts Unknown, uh, probably Florida. Although, where are they? San San Antonio. Antonio. San Antonio. They're on a family vacation. We can't thank them enough for taking time away from um, San Antonio uh, to speak with us. They are Chuck and Erica, the two worst charter guests in the history of this beloved show. Uh, Thank you guys. And that I'm proud of them. I am so proud of that. Yeah, no, that's very, very apparent. Um, So we'll get into all that, but we wanted to say thank you guys very, very much for joining us. You know, we're not the easiest podcast to talk to. We're going to be pretty uh, hard hitting, but we would ask you guys to not hang up and uh, to just help us you know, clear the air and expose the truth. Right. Like this isn't 60 minutes. We do a stupid entertainment podcast, but, and I don't like the idea of interviewing the premise. You guys come on here and we're going to ambush you. But if you're willing, we're going to ask you hard questions that may be uncomfortable, but yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Um, I, uh, I recently heard that the the most rebellion you can do is to seek the truth. And we consider ourselves the bad boys of the, you got it. Done. Nick's out of breath because he's been kind of <laughs> up and zipping around all the cameras and stuff. So uh, first question yeah. again, don't hang up. Um, but I just want to clear the air because should something. I want to know about the plane because there's been a lot of talk on Reddit. And that's just a, an empty dumpster of, uh, you know, misinformation as as is uh, Twitter. So what's the real story uh, from you guys of what took place on the plane? It's not going to really tell you what happened about that. That's it was basically bad. what I said. Um, it wasn't a big deal. If it was a big deal, we wouldn't have been on the yacht. We're attorneys. We know how to talk to authorities. We do it all the time. Right. Um, it really was a situation where my mom was going to upgrade when she got there. And there was an eight person that you don't see. We're not going to name his name. Yeah. He didn't come on the yacht trip because he took the last upgrade. And we were upset about it because we were trying to help my mom to do it when we got there. And so, yeah, I guess one of us could have switched seats with her, you know, even though we wanted to sit together. It wasn't going to be me. Anyway. Yeah, no, of course. Other, Chuck. Wasn't one. I'm sorry. Can we, sorry can we orient the camera a little bit? Chuck, can you scooch to your left a teens? Uh, so Maybe. there we go. Oh. There we or go. even possibly put it landscape. There we can. You? We can get both of you here. That's great. Like <laughs> Theory. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. So I understand you don't want to talk about it, but just so we can clear the air about any misinformation on Reddit, Chuck, you weren't drunk on the plane. Oh hell no! I actually just they woke up. Like a two drink limit. He actually was not aware. Um, I was not aware. Literally, if you really want to know, I'm sitting there. I'm sleeping. No, well, no, I don't want you to tell the story. Okay? okay, I won't. So basically, I was asleep. Um, my mom came up and she's like, "Oh, can I have your omelet?" I'm like, "Oh, I woke up. I'd already eaten it." I was like, Chuck won't care if you take his because he's sleeping. That happened. The flight attendant came to me and she was like, where'd your mom get her omelet? But also part of it is my mom does have hypoglycemia. She's older. The truth is on the way home, we flew Iberian Air. We had friends sitting in. Do not do that, Chuck. We go out out of the Do that. What was Chuck just doing? What was he doing there? Nothing. Um, We had friends (laughs) sitting in economy. And um, in Iberian Airlines, they didn't care about passing back food. So it was like specific to this airline. Got it. Okay. Um, I, don't, I just don't feel like it's a good idea. Okay. I, I feel like we're in, uh, what's that, that uh, scary movie? 
Get Out? No, no, no Blair Witch. No. Uh, well, Blair Witch or the uh, Paranormal Activity. Oh, yeah, sure. it's Things very, very from. fucking scary. All right, I want to get just to set the scene here. Can you give me the dynamic of the group? Because it was a little confusing about all you guys being on the boat. Who's who? Who invited who? Who paid for it? Well, also, we didn't have much time to like get together a group like we did the year before. They reached out to me because I don't want... Um, they reached out to us like right before and they were like I don't remember how long we had but um, about, a month. about a month or less because one of the requirements was that everyone had to be vaccinated and they had people of other charters once Bravo made that decision drop out and we had friends that weren't we couldn't bring kids that kind of thing so the dynamic was us my mom um, my mom invited her friend Susan I invited our friend Hallie. Hey, babe. Um, What's up? I'm just not with the room. We ordered it. It's on its way. The room service should be a sumo. <laughs> Where'd you guys um, get your fake Vax cards? <laughs> oh, of course not. We're attorneys, so we're not going to continue on this situation if you guys are going to be derogatory with us. Um, I, that was a, that was a joke because because oh, yeah, no, that on, was a very lighthearted joke on our show. I'm like a COVID denier. It's kind of like a bit. Yeah, it's a I bit. play the ignorant yeah, one. It was for the audience, Erica. So, so um, so just move moving past the the flight thing. Uh, I uh, okay. How, so the hair Janelle was my hairdresser. I did not know her very well. Had been going to her a couple months, and that's her husband Rhett that came. The other couple. Are you are you comfortable with saying how? Because these these charters are very expensive. You guys are obviously lawyers, and right. I, I can't imagine. Forgive me, unless she owns her own hair salon, being able yeah, to, yeah. for this to be equal. She owns a salon. Got it. Okay. Okay. So, what's the relationship with Cindy? Does Chuck like Cindy? Because if it was my mother-in-law, I'd probably give up the first-class seat. And there was also a scene in the new episode when she face planted, ate shit pretty bad, and uh, you just grabbed the phone out of her hand. It didn't really. Um, it seems like she's a battered wife in your guys' relationship. I feel fucking okay. horrible for her. Oh god! Oh my god, mom! I, got you. I hope you didn't ruin my phone. That part was funny because it was true. Because I randomly, I don't know if they showed everything, but I was like, "Mom, can you take a picture with my phone?" And randomly she started like running around like for no reason. And I was like, girl. And then she dropped my phone like in the water. I was like, oh my gosh. And I knew she was okay. So I said, I hope you didn't ruin my phone. But um, Chuck and my mom don't always get along. It's probably like a typical mother in law son. Now, you, maybe not typical, but um, yeah. Well, you know, relationships it's cliche. are complicated. Sure, it's a cliche. Now, one thing that we caught in the latest episode is you guys have known each other since high school. Yeah. Wow. Correct. Okay. And, but you've only but we haven't been dating that long. We've just known each other. So you guys kind of re reconnected later on in life. Yeah. Some sure. of the but most beautiful relationships that. start like that. You guys know each other for years and you're actually just friends and then you fall in love. So good for yeah, you guys. Yeah, but it wasn't like that cute because we weren't like really good friends. It was more like casual, like Facebook friends. We met at a high school formal. We're not even like in the same. We had like groups of friends in common. Saw each other at my friend's grandfather's funeral when we were both 25. So that was like probably the most um, yeah. noted like encounter. And then reconnected in our early 30s. Like, like Will Ferrell in that one movie. Uh, okay, so um, I think, you know, Chuck and you did a little TikTok thing or an Instagram story. I don't know what the kids call these things. I think Chuck had food on his face. It was very distracting. But you guys were talking about... Um, how the entire thing was a ruse and you guys were being characters. So from the yeah. outside looking I in, it would seem, and I'll just finish the question. Hang on one sec, Erica. Uh, from the outside looking in, it would seem as though you guys went on a vacation that you couldn't quite afford so that you could yeah. drum up business for the law firm. But but what actually happened? Was, was that the uh, goal going on the show? No, we paid full price to be there just as last year. Right. Um, and it wasn't that. So everyone, the whole group is responsible for tipping. Like it's not. And we had to pick up the slack for everyone else because no one else tipped. Wow. So, you know. so yeah. it wasn't like that. But yes, of course, if you own your own business, just as I invited Janelle, I, you know, I invited people that had something to promote. Susan wanted to promote her Instagram. Um, it makes sense. God. Otherwise, people, it's kind of stupid. Otherwise, <clears throat> honestly. Yeah. If you want to just go on a yacht trip, go on a yacht trip. If you don't have something to promote, like really 
I've been on TV for a long time. It doesn't really matter. You know, it doesn't do anything. If it's not your own show, you know that most likely it's not going to be 100% positive. Uh, I have been so, on TV for a long... What other? Well, she was on The Bachelor. Oh, that's right. That? Yeah. Come on. Right. He knew she, that. He knew that. Dude. I can't say the curse word, but Google me, B. If you have a guest on your show, you might as well Google them ahead of time, right? No, yeah, we, do your we, research, guys. We never no, I looked at never, the Forbes. I, I looked at the Forbes piece they did on you, Eric. It was great. Exactly. All right, so check. So, so as an attorney, what? from reality TV to attorney, so Look you guys can show some respect on it. So, I'm better than you. Question. How are we not showing respect? Well, because of the way you're phrasing the question, yeah, Dada. Well, oh, oh, Dylan, Dylan yeah, is no. It's, it's no. It's another bit. I have to get into a fight with. The guys. <laughs> it's for the audience. I want to know. I want to get down to brass tacks here. All right, you guys just watched the episode, the second episode. Right. Can you tell me was that a um, an, an interpret a correct interpretation of of what we see as viewers? Is that what happened there? No. No. Okay. Not at all. Everything. There were so many things that. Um, we did that were fun, like water sports, et cetera. Can you, um, sorry. They don't show that in this type of charter, everyone, uh, same with my group of friends last time, we all tip for ourselves. And um, the other couple is very successful also, and they're a lot older than us. And so if someone else besides us, we tipped like all the cash we brought, my mom tipped. Some other people in our group didn't feel like it. Um, and that was that. We didn't have mostly money. nobody yeah. really felt like it except for me and mm -hmm. Cindy and Erica. So we yeah. had to pick up. So that six thousand was from us three on result of yeah. on behalf of everyone and else honestly, on the crew. We didn't Got it. It. Like so, when I went with my girlfriends last time, you guys can rewatch the episodes since obviously we didn't. Um, no, we, we encourage we everybody lost, to watch the episodes. So twice. I think we lost. Over, we tipped over twenty something yeah. thousand. I I think it was twenty three thousand, and they still talked. And so part of our reasons in doing that, to be honest, was thinking, okay, they're going to say nice things about us. We weren't that demanding as a group that season, to be honest. Yeah, we had a group mm -hmm. of friends that had some drama because we had to quarantine last time for a week. This time there was no quarantining, luckily, because everyone was vaccinated. But um, we were like not really a bad group of females last time. And they talked so rudely about us, went on and on how horrible we were. And we were like, wow, not only we paid for this trip, but we gave 23000 to be talked badly about. So I don't think they right. should ever talk badly about you. Everybody, everybody, if you ought to know what tip know. stands for, that means to ensure proper service. Yeah. Why would I give a huge tip to someone that can't even follow simple omelet so instructions? We well, you gave the normal the tip, though, the same tip you were going to tip, right? What? We brought, yeah. Oh, no, I was actually going to tip more, but then. Oh, got it. But, 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 like, but, like, but then, Chuck, when you. Oh, okay. Right okay. So but, it was a bad tip. Okay. Later to a credit card, they give you that option. Right. So, but, Chuck, you, know, you were penalizing so. a staff of seven people for one person's mess up if you weren't happy with the omelet, right? No, it, it's. It's not only that. I mean, honestly, we if you watched it, did, no one else really went like above and beyond. And truly, I'm not unhappy about it. Also, we can't say certain things because of confidentiality, so it is what it is. But um, okay. here's a question about tipping. So you guys did the bulk that. of the tipping. So actually, if you're breaking up All the group, it would have made sense if everybody chipped in as much yeah. as you guys did. It would have right. been yeah. If everybody tipped yeah. five thousand, exactly. it would have been like twenty five grand. And so if right. So we're in up, it was just us and my mom. That what was that conversation like with the co-charters when you're like, guys? Oh, they didn't even. They just skipped around. They didn't even talk about I it. I think with Janelle us. and Rat might have threw in something. I don't remember. Um, I doubt it. And then our friend Haley was kind of like, oh, I just wanted to, I really liked Gabby, Gabriella. I'd rather just tip her. I don't know what happened with that. Um, Got it. Because she tried to do it separately, so I don't know what happened because it didn't show. Um, but yeah, it's like uh, sometimes I guess maybe they expect only the primaries to tip. But in this situation, that wasn't the understanding. You know what I mean? Same with my group of friends last time. We all did. Um. And it is what it is. These people weren't like older. They were all our age or older. It right. wasn't a different socioeconomic situation. There's no reason. The <clears throat> other couple was very rude. We don't hang out with them anymore. Um, right. I never had Th that makes him. That makes all sense to me. Like a lot of people, I'm looking yeah. at Facebook right now, and a lot of people are essentially like. attacking you guys because of the tip. But yeah. if it, it, this that makes sense, and I don't think they can ding you on that. Else. If you guys. Like, what about everyone else? Right, you know? right, right. Why are right. they supposed to just come and like snore? We use the expression snore, but why are they supposed to come and be a snore when they weren't being our friend? Not our friend Haley, we like, but I'm saying like other and not my mom because she also tipped, but I'm saying the others of the group, like they weren't like our best friends. I didn't know. know any of these people. Yeah, the only one we still keep in touch with is Hallie. So it's like, why are they, they're not like, they weren't great friends of ours. Like Susan, my mom invited, 
she wanted to promote something with Instagram. And Janelle, I thought, you know, I had liked her results of my hair at the time. And I was like, hey, this would be great for you to promote your salon. Like, when you're... But she didn't. She just cried yeah. the whole... She just she cried the whole time. time. That's how yeah. I showed up. But yeah. when, you're, um, when you're with someone at the salon, like... It's different, you know. So you was it? Because she's trying to get money from you at the salon, so she acts like she's your friend. Right. It's like a strip, right. stripper kind of and thing. And she mm -hmm. gets involved. She got too involved in our business. Yeah, it didn't. Got she it. was like wanting us to turn against each other, and we're just not going to do that. Got it. I you guys are very loyal to like, one another. It's very yeah, admirable. Yeah, like I don't control him. Like, and you can, and I think it was. I think it accurately showed our relationship. Well, you guys have an interesting <laughs> dynamic, and most married people do. I have it with my wife. But the one thing, Chuck, it seems like you're okay with how you appeared on television. Yes, sir. Is that correct? I mean, you know what? Considering the fact that I was entertaining people and I've gotten this much reaction, I think I did my job. He's happy about it. I'm happy that people were entertained. They well, obviously well, must have been entertained because their lives stopped. They must have been stuck. My uh, goal when I got on the show was to make everybody – Forget about their lives for an hour so, and enjoy and get, get stuck into reality. That's quite a, a far off goal. goal. Yeah. Let me very, ask you this, Chuck. So you foresight. got what you wanted. I get it. You want to be a villain. But for the other performers. No, or... I don't want to be a villain. I just wanted to entertain. But and if what... I have to be a villain and entertain, then but... so be it. Because the villain is more interesting than the Very. Have to... you seen The Patriot? That, <laughs> that evil general in The Patriot? I mean, I, or Dark Knight. Oh, yeah. Dark Knight. Dark Knight. But I totally get it. But let me ask you this question. Uh, you're amazing you TV, Chuck. Them, you're, am yeah. you're amazing TV, Chuck. I'll give it to you. You definitely kind of fit a different archetype I haven't seen on the show. But for <laughs> the people that are working on this boat, not part of this kind of... Oh, look, number, number one, would, would, you, nice would you want... Time. Would I never you, knew any of them had a problem with me. I never directed oh. anything at also, any of them. them are they're, paid. they're getting well paid. Under, oh, I understood. Okay, so hold on. Yeah, okay. I can't tell you. I can't tell you how much that they, they, they disclosed to me when they were drinking my alcohol. But they're very, very well paid, and they're actors. Yeah, but Chuck, let me ask you this: How would you feel if you have a person or a family member that works in the service industry, and someone like you was talking to them that way? I would say, you know what? You need to provide better service. Ah, oh, and American badass. Got it. Um, okay. okay, Nick's got to ask some uh, some questions. No, uh, I just wanted to inform Chuck that TIP, that's a, a, a urban legend, that TIP stands for <laughs> to ensure proper service, because that would be the wrong insurer, which you should know, because you're an injury lawyer, that's I-N-S-U-R-E, that means back with money to like, uh, but that would be insure, E N. I mean, like, I'm not going to really argue with you about insurance because you lack personal knowledge, so oh, right. I'm not even going to sit there and waste my time. You no, it's, it's to insure with an E, Chuck. Right, right, right. It's Chuck. to insure, so guys. Said whether it's E or whether it's I, it doesn't right. matter. Right. You said yeah. TIP stands for. <laughs> okay. You said TIP Easy. was, no, you said TIP was T-I-P. <laughs> and oh, you're stop. moving your tongue around like you're on it. I didn't say, stop it. I didn't it's think like, that we were going to get into a fight over this. We're not going we to. We have to, we have to, uh, you guys have to get back to your children. I came podcast last. Time. Oh, we we loved having you. You got you were amazing last time. So, um, last question: the omelet. So you said that you went on the show to provide entertainment. Now you did provide entertainment, although it was the kind of entertainment that I don't know makes people feel a little bit yucky. It's not quite a snuff film, but uh, <laughs> almost well, there. Though, he, they well, didn't so kill anybody. You know, sir, 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 sir. That's so offensive. Don't compare this to a snuff film. A snuff film was a. Like, he said it stuff. wasn't like it, sir. <laughs> Thank you for calling me, sir. I really appreciate it. Calm down. He's leaving. Okay. All right. Well, we we're going to go to our stenographer. He said they were not the same thing. Erica, I have a question for you. Again, as a, as a married couple, I, I've been known to act out uh, one particular thing. We had someone working the house. I was tired that day. I was short with yeah. that person. My wife pulled me in the room, grabbed me by my ear and told me to cut the shit. Did you have okay. a private conversation with Chuck at some point and said, dial it back? Did I? No. Okay. Um, I kind of tried to put him in check. Like if you're listening to the part about the omelet, like when you send it back the first time with tomatoes, I know how he is about tomatoes. Like right. literally... If I make his like burger order, order wrong and it has he tomatoes, you. he's he hate you won't eat it and right. it, and complain. And so that I understood, but when he like refused to try it the second time, I was like, oh my gosh, come on! Like I got, I got into the character. So I called him out on that. Okay, so yeah, I yeah. So was, so you're saying that he mind. he got into the character, but also he hates tomatoes. So yes, I'm saying I called him out when it, he was taking it too right. far. Like to complain right. about tomatoes, that's him. 
Right. right. So that wasn't an act. That was just that full blown. Buy it. I was like, that's silly. Right. You so, know what I mean? So yeah. I totally. But totally. I also want y'all to know that I was like, okay, do y'all want me to do any more scenes? I'm like, I got it. And then when you hear me say, that's okay, nasty. Say oh, I can't say that. So right? I don't know <laughs> if he thought that they were like going in with him or not, but it is what it is. Um, but Got he's it. very extra in real life. That's very insane. extra, so yeah, very extra. When he's being uncalled for, yes, but I usually wait until like we're by a private ourselves. moment. Yeah, I don't like to make a scene. I'm, no, I'm not like if he's I, in the online thing. I was like, come on, but I don't want to be fighting together, you know, especially on a on show. a vacation. That was what was uh, crazy about it. It seemed it seemed so yeah. chaotic and unpleasant. <laughs> it just I it, 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 it was a lot, but it's weird because. I was like having fun the whole time, honestly. But the situation with him is usually like if you can't see he's paying for room, he's doing yeah. room service. Well, Erica, but you just seem—I mean, look—you you didn't you weren't short with anybody. You're, you yeah. know, I always say you're paying that much money, you should be able to get the service that you want and the food yeah. that you want. It's all about the food. I totally I get that. that, but it but did that's seem that's like, and again, you kind of answered the question, but it seemed like a little enabling when Chuck was kind of, I think, being short with the staff. Um, like, and it's okay to be short to a certain degree when they're not performing. Yeah, listen, to an extent, I thought um, I was really nice. I thought with Captain Glenn and Gary, that's why when I got on the boat, you'll see that I gave them a hug. Um, I didn't really get to know Colin last time or this time. I didn't have a negative dog, vibe yeah, on him. But, yeah. Uh, if someone's negative with me, uh, like on interviews, on things like that, like, you know, such as Daisy, I'm not going to feel bad if someone's being demanding at her. I thought I was nice to her last time. We tipped so well, like I said. And I was surprised and hurt when they said negative things about my group of friends last time. And you know, time. and now that I see what Daisy's acting, I should have been even more ruthless on the show and sent the omelet yeah. back. Yeah. So, it again. Totally. Really yeah, like totally. Well, let me ask you this. Did you guys feel any of that energy? Like, I'm not making excuses for you, Chuck, but were you feeling some of that stuff that there was whispers behind the scenes that could have... Uh, no, not really at all. I really didn't feel it all. They he didn't really watch the episodes my friends and I were on, but I will say this, what you guys don't know, and you might not be able to tell this by the look of it, but Natasha, the chef from last time, her food was amazing. So they were telling me for a whole year how great the he food is. He met Natasha on two separate occasions in Miami and in Houston. We were good friends with her, my mom as well, and we were disappointed, as was she, when she didn't get asked to come back, and she asked us to voice those concerns, and we did. And the point is that we um, genuinely believe that her food was so much better, but I wasn't there to sit around and eat the whole time. But Chuck truly, babe, Chuck truly came on the trip like so excited about just eating the whole time. Like that's what he thought when he watched. I was just so upset that it was so gross. Yeah. It wasn't, honestly, it wasn't I think so it wasn't gross. Right, it couldn't I mean, have been, right? It wasn't so gross. Right. But I'm, sticking I, with my, I'm sticking with my character. It was nasty. So yeah. well, well, with that, with, with that guys, Chuck, you're a method good. actor. It's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Emphasis on meth. Guys, I have to ask you, any any regrets about any of the behavior? It's not like you I, owe any idiots so watching. If I had to go back, I probably wouldn't have acted extra dramatic. Yeah, it was a little I bit. I probably would have gone back. I probably wouldn't He's have. He's already been. like a little bit over the top as it is. Right. So, um, it's his character. Yeah. I don't right. think it was necessary. I probably, if I could go know. back, I probably, you know, would have been a little bit more chill. I thought I, I wouldn't have lit. I don't know. If I had to go back, of course I wouldn't have, so of course I, guess, I wouldn't have complained about the omelet if I had to go back. Yeah, it was, <laughs> I think, I guess I could have given him more like coaching, which I didn't really, this was his first time doing reality TV with me. Like I said, I've been doing it since I was 23. Um, like the first time I did the bachelor. So I didn't feel the need to be like, okay, because I've never seen him on a camera, like on camera before. Right. I thought I was pretty funny. So I didn't feel the need to be like, okay, don't <laughs> be <are>. extra crazy <laughs> or don't be like this because I truly did not know what right. to expect. And then I told him, I never after it, I told him, I was like, you're such a camera whore. And he's like, what do you mean? Because some other times, like since then, he'll be like, And also, also, everybody else in our charter, they were giving the camera people nothing. Nothing. But sometimes he'll be like, before me, he'll or before it aired, he'd be like, I'm such a quiet guy. You like this public stuff. I just like to work and like hang out. I'm totally. Like, okay, so babe. for clarity's sake, Chuck, who we saw on the show, you were having fun with it in your daily life when you have employees that work at the firm, people that you work with, this is not the kind of behavior that you engage. He is in. so nice to our like paralegal. No, I mean, my clients love me. I go, and believe it or not, I'm in, a, I'm in the service it. industry too. Yeah. You know, just yesterday on my vacation, I have to figure out a way to coordinate my client getting surgery, um, 
bus them all the way across the United States. So I am in the service industry. Yes. I serve right. people. My dog needs you know, ACL surgery. I'm a public are, service. Like, we I'm an officer of the court. Yeah. Right. So it's like we have clients being demanding at us all the time. Um, it's not a reality. You know, but just, it's not a reality show. It's real. I so think I don't don't it could be. Talk. We know people. Uh, who... Um, is there any truth to what Rhett was saying on the phone with his friend back home of you uh, liking to go to hotels on weekends, bitch about the food, and then get it for free? Because that's pretty fire. Yeah, it has that's to be true. true. Oh, no, it but has to be true, say, right? I will say that he does complain in real life. Um, and we did get a never mind. We did get a five hundred dollar. We did get a five hundred dollar credit here for the for the no. lack of service. Of course wow. you did. Yeah, how could you not? How much so did he does? Um, but I did take hotel and restaurant management in law school at oh, wow. the University of Houston. And so I learned some things. But yeah, if you're you're actually welcomed and invited to voice like valid complaints. But that's why I was getting annoyed with his complaints. At first I was like, okay, they're valid. Like he didn't want tomatoes, whatever. But then he was like, oh, I won't eat the second omelet. And like now you're like, just, you, you know, diluting the validity of them by like complaining about everything. Well, that was my point. I, so, what I wanted to do. It was like not as I'm mean, like you pick and choose what you got it. All right. Well, I so we, we got to wrap up. I got to ask about the questions. Line, I was acting for an audience. If you guys choose to believe that's the way I really am, then the that's on you. But right. Who is your best man? And I was trying to get ratings and it obviously worked. <laughs> Who is your best yeah, man? I don't like the negative comments, honestly, on social media. He doesn't really get affected by them. Uh, turn your phones it. off for two weeks. Yeah, so I, I yeah. we're, we're going to wrap this up. We got to ask about the questions, but I just uh, ask about the, uh, the questions. You, I, I want to know who cushions. is his best man. Oh, uh, Nick wants to know who your best man was at the wedding. Well, I had five best men. No, you didn't. That's he had and, his stepbrother. Oh, my stepbrother, my friend Morgan was my best friend. No, Morgan God. was just a groomsman. He has so, people that like him. That All stepbrother. right, so oh, we got to wrap up. What, what is the relevance of that question? Wanted, I don't question. think you have any guy friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, be nice. We, so we, have to, we have to wrap this up. We have to talk about the cushions, okay. and then we want to talk about overall goals, how you felt about your appearance on the show, and then we'll let you guys go back to your children. How much were the cushions? I have to know how much. If, did they ding you guys um, on that? We didn't get a bill for it. My mom that handled that situation, and actually, she had given Captain Glenn some cash for that, and I don't think he counted that into the tip, so that did take away from the cash that she had brought, and she does not think it was her. She claims that it was a different charter guest. Um, it was not either of us. Got it. So, like, I don't like getting involved in that drama. Gotcha. Uh, too late. My cool. Mom, her, her All right. So woman. second, second uh, appearance on the show. Um, I know that you guys have been dealing with some social media hate, which yeah, is, is it's not just fun. Negative because we're parents. This right. Is not I totally our get that. Life. So sure. Um, if anyone says it reflects about our parenting, no, what are you doing? <laughs> this is the first time that we took a trip together. I'm not saying I didn't go with my friends without him, but it's the first time that we took a couple's trip together since our honeymoon literally and a lot of people forget that um you know i had a daughter already she, she was really young when we got married so we never get these times just us and i don't think and, it, anybody comment on social media about your parenting i think is a bad yes person. well yeah, i mean cool. don't, uh, don't elaborate, don't elaborate. Don't elaborate chuck say. um okay you so you have you know, you can see how I have to be with him in exactly. real life. Exactly. No, it's like, so, it sounds uh, it sounds like a tough but yeah, cut. Yeah, people did comment about that, and that is what I'm pissed off about. Like, I practice family law. I would never watch a show about people on a trip without their kids and say anything about their parents. I agree. Got that it. Line, line in the sand drawn. Up. So, so that's what I'm upset about. It's but ridiculous. with your guys' second appearance, Chuck seems to be happy with the attention that the law firm is getting. Um, He's happy. I'm confused happy. because you guys came off as such I'm unlikable not. people, but you you know you will garner business from this. I don't know how that's possible, but yeah. uh, Mazel Tov. What are you, are you are you are you not very? How is that not possible? Well, let's see. My firm has been trending on Twitter. No, I'm Google. trending on Google with over 5,000 clicks. Oh, right, because they hate yeah, you. They don't want you to represent them. They're uh, they're fascinated by you. How do you not get that? that? How do you not understand that, Chuck? That's why they're clicking on the website. Guys, you guys have to get back to your children. We have to leave you alone. It's been uh, a little actually, contentious. If they click on the website, that means they re I get retargeted. 
and Google my I go up in domain authority. Got it. Ah. And people will be able to see your SEO. face easier. Right. Um, all right, That's guys. That's why. Every, SEO. Thank you, guys. Every single time they click, every single time somebody reaches out <laughs> yeah. to my law firm via my contact form and says, you treat right. below deck bad, that's just right. more retargeting and higher domain authority. So okay. that's what it's all about. Hard R, hard R at the end, but that's fine. How many how many milligrams of Adderall do you guys get? I, I just got prescribed 20. All right, guys. All right, stop. That's uh, it. Not, I, wouldn't dis- I, wouldn't, I wouldn't discuss that with you. And, like, I'm sorry that you just admitted that you got on Adderall. I'm not. No, no we're I'm in Los okay. Angeles. Everyone's a on Adderall. Not me. Right here. All right, let's oh, end yeah. this. Let's end this with courtesy. Let's please. be copacetic, okay? Thank you guys Namaste. for spending some time with us. Have a lovely rest of your vacation. We hope to uh, not see you on the show anymore. And also, Chuck, mental health is real, so I don't think I should be embarrassed about being prescribed with neurodivergency. <laughs> I have ADHD. All right, but don't, but don't, but don't ask, don't, don't question, don't ask me about my mental health. I'm not going to tell you that. Okay, no, that's, okay, that's your prerogative. Uh, Call for that. It was no, great no, talking no, to you no, guys. Yeah. Guys, the, the max is 60 milligrams. I bet you got 60. Erica, Chuck, right, thanks for facing, guys. thanks for facing the uh, the fire. Hey man, 60 is a lot, man. That's crackhead level. Dude. It's the max. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, man, they're good. Like I just never taken them before, though. Bye, guys. Thank you, Bye. Erica. Yeah. What the fuck was the point? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.